Hey friends and welcome back to another video of quadratic equation series. Uh, so now we have solved the first five questions of the practice set 2.3 and in today's video we will be solving the sixth question that is 5x square is equal to 4x plus 7. The question is 5x square is equal to 4x plus 7. So first of all we will uh, rearrange the equation in the proper quadratic uh, form. Hey friends and welcome back to another video of the quadratic equation playlist. So far we have solved the first five questions of the practice of 2.3. And in today's video, we will be solving the sixth question. Now, the sixth question over here is 5x square is equal to 4x plus 7. So, first of all, we will uh, rearrange this equation in the proper quadratic equation form. For that, we have to move the 4x plus 7 to the left hand side, uh, which will become 5x square minus 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, uh, over here, uh, the equation is in the proper quadratic equation format. Now we will be using the uh, now you can see that the coefficient of x square is not uh, 1. So we have to make the coefficient of x as 1. For that we have to multiply throughout by 5. So we have 5x square minus 5 minus 4x upon 5 minus 7 upon 5. Now we have the coefficient of x over here. So we will apply the formula that is half into coefficient of x the whole square which is 4 upon 5. So we have half into 4 upon 5 the whole square which gives us 2 upon 5 the whole square which is equal to 4 upon 25. Now this 4 upon 25 we will add and subtract in the equation. So we get x square minus 4x upon 5 plus 4 upon 25 and minus 7 by 5 minus 4 upon 25. Now over here you can see that we have to solve this uh, fraction but the denominator is not same. And you have to remember that whenever the denominator is not same, we cannot just uh, subtract or add the number. I, there are two ways you can do that. The first method is either you cross multiply as we have seen in the previous videos or you can make the denominators as same. As in this case, you can make 5 as 25 by multiplying by 5 in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So we will multiply by 5. We get 7 into 5 and 5 into 5 which is minus 35 upon 25 and minus 4 upon 25. Now over here, this remains the same. Now we're going to solve this part. So square root of the first term, sine of the second term and square root of the third term, which gives us 2 upon 25, the whole square. And over here, minus 35 minus 4 gives us minus 39 and the denominator remains the same, that is upon 25. Now we will move on. So we get x minus 2 upon 5 the whole square. We will send the minus 39 upon 5 to the uh, 39 upon 25 to the right hand side and we will write it in the form of square. So we get root 39 upon 5 the whole square. And now we will remove the square roots and we get x minus 2 upon 5 equals 2 plus or minus root 39 upon 5. This root 39 we can write it in two ways plus root 39 upon 5 and minus root 39 upon 5. Now we have x is equal to uh, root 39 upon 5 and we will send this minus 2 by 5 to the right hand side and it becomes plus 2 by 5. And since the denominator are same, so we write it as 30, root 39 plus 2 upon 5 and uh, over here we have minus root 39 upon 5 plus 2 by 5 since we take the minus 2 by 5 to the right hand side. And over here also we have the denominator as same. So we write minus root 39 plus 2 upon 5. Which means that which means that the root 39 plus 2 upon 5 and minus root 39 plus 2 upon 5 are the roots of this given quadratic equation. I hope that the practice set uh, that we just solved is very much clear to you. However, if you all have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, in today's video, we have a homework question for you all. So this is the question that is 2x square minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. So all you have to do is you have to solve this particular question and write the answers in the comment section. 
in the next video we will be seeing the answer to this question so that is it for today's video for more research videos stay tuned and study with